Set up high IPVPN L2TP VPN on DDWRT router important, we presume that you already flashed your router with DDWRT firmware and your DDWRT router local IP address is 192.168.1.1 and your first router has different LAN subnet EX192.168.0.1. When you connect to this router via Wi-Fi you have internet, we also presume that you have already tested VPN on your PC slash Mac to ensure that your network configuration and ISP allow PPTP or L2TP slash IPsec connections. Important, L2TP cannot be used concurrently with PPPoE or static IP if you use DDWRT flashed router as main router. We recommend you to use DDWRT flashed router as the second one. 1. Connect to the router using either an Ethernet cable, or by joining the wireless network DDWRT. Open a web browser, and load the following address, http colon slash slash 192.168.1.1 note, first set your network connection to obtain IP address automatically if you connect to your router via Ethernet. 2. Configure your DDWRT router to share your regular internet connection. 3. Go to Setup then select Basic Setup. 4. On Connection Type select L2TP. In the Gateway, L2TP Server, field enter the IP address slash server name of the server you want to connect to. In the Username and Password field enter your VPN account details that you received via mail. 5. Below Add Optional Settings change MTU to Manual and enter 1460 as value. Enter an IP address for the DDWRT access point, if this is the second router then you must set a different local IP address than your main router. 6. Enable DHCP server and make sure all three boxes are not checked, use DNS mask for DNCP, use DNS mask for DNS, DHCP authoritative. Click on apply settings. 7. Go to security tab, firewall, and set disable for SPI firewall. 8. Now go to VPN pass through tab and select enable for L2TP pass through, then click on apply settings. 9. Go to Administration tab, on the bottom of the page you will find Reboot Router button, click it. After router reboots it should connect to VPN automatically. 10. To check the connection status, go to Status then click on One tab. If next to Login status is written connected then connection is set up successfully. If not click to connect wait for about 30 seconds and check if your IP has been changed.